Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Larry Snow and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to post up videos and images from the mobile web to Instagram and from the desktop. So let's get started. So I am over on the mobile web. I've already got Instagram loaded in my Chrome browser. And you'll see here it says open in app. Well, we don't want to do that. We can just tap this image icon right here, right below that, the camera icon. And we have the option to take photo or photo library. I'm going to go to my photo library. I'm going to go into moments and there's Nick Nimmin. I took a picture of him the other day. I'm going to go to this lovely gentleman. And you'll notice right off the bat here that we don't have the same tools we would if we were in the app itself. We can't pinch and zoom. We can't add filters. We can't do any of that stuff. We only have two options. We can pinch and zoom with that button just one way. That's it. Or we can rotate. I think that looks swell, don't you think? Then we hit next. So when we click to uh, write in our caption, you'll notice that we don't have the ability to add in a geolocation. So you can only do certain things in the mobile web version of Instagram, but hey, it beats going into the app? I don't know. You'd probably want to go into the app and do all this stuff. Where I think it really comes in handy is when you're on the desktop. So let's go there now. Okay, so I am over on Instagram.com forward slash Larry Snow if anyone wants to follow me on Instagram. Now, we all know that we could search and we could uh, discover people and we can look at our own people who have followed us and all that stuff. That's all the same, right? We could edit our profile. We can change the links, whatever we need to do. We can change our settings here too if we want to. But now, when since Instagram opened it up to the mobile web, we can kind of, not I guess, cheat a little in configuring our browser to be a mobile browser. So if you are on Chrome, which is what I use exclusively, I right click, I go down to inspect. And if you're not familiar with this, don't be worried. You can't break anything. You want to go down here in this very little corner here. It says toggle device toolbar. You want to click on that once. It will put you into a mobile platform. Then you want to click on that little camera. We can choose videos or photos from our desktop. Let's pick that one. I don't even know what it is. Now you notice nothing happened. <laughs> I don't know if it's a glitch in uh, the communications between Instagram and Chrome, but the only thing that is different is open in app. And now we are able to upload our videos and images right from the desktop. So we want to click on that little uh, camera icon again. We'll upload this image of what I don't know. Oh, lovely picture of our little garden. And here we have the same functionality as if you were in the mobile web. We can only pinch and zoom with one little button or we can rotate to our heart's desire. I'm always on the sideways view of things. <laughs> and then we can click our next and then we can copy and paste or type right in here, whatever we want. And then we click share and it will get posted to Instagram. So there you have it. So Instagram rolled it out last week, right? Uh, May 8th, they rolled it out last week. And since then, I think their growth has exploded. Uh, for whatever reason, most likely the availability that you can do this now on a desktop, which everybody has been clamoring for, to do it in the desktop, do it in the desktop, do it in the desktop. So all us marketers and social media people, we do things from the desktop mostly. At least I do. So what do you think? Is this something you'd be using? Do you think you'd be using the desktop kind of mobile version in, in Chrome of Instagram? 
or will you stick to the app on your mobile or will you still will you use the mobile web version of Instagram I really don't see why you would want to do that because the app itself has so many more functions and you're in mobile so I, I don't know post in the comments below what you would do would you use the mobile web version or would you use the app I would use the app but I would definitely be doing a lot more of this stuff on the desktop and be posting it directly from the desktop. So let me know what you think. Hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and share with your colleagues and friends. And I'll see you in the next video.